I'm David Powell, and I'm the pastor of Coway Baptist Church, and I thank you for the privilege of being able to pray with you for the state of our families and our homes today. If you'll join with me in prayer. Our Father who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Oh, Holy Father, what a privilege, what an honor you have given us to address you as our Father. Even though you are high and lifted up and are holy, we can address you with such intimacy and with such tenderness because of the blood of Jesus Christ. You have adopted us. You have grafted us in to being your children, to being your heirs, dear God, even though we were not only allowed. Holy Father, I know that you have allowed for this. I know, dear God, that you have made it possible. I know, dear Lord, that you have permitted it. But, dear God, do we not take it for granted? Do we not take for granted the way that we use the word father? Do we not take for granted the way that we use the word family and marriage and child? Dear God, have we allowed our marriages to be defined by the state and by Satan instead of by Scripture? Dear God, you are the one that created the relationship going all the way back to the Garden of Eden. Yet, dear Lord, what have we sought to transform it into? Dear Lord, we know that since the Garden of Eden, Satan has placed a bull's eye upon the home. But dear God, on this day, would we rebuke him? On this day, would we go back to our roots and go back to our Heavenly Father and say, Dear God, may it not be mirrored in heaven what we have done on earth, but dear God, will we mirror what we do on earth after what you have ordained in heaven? I pray, dear God, that children will be able to look to their mother and look to their father and see in that marriage, dear God, something that will make them yearn to be the bride of Christ. I pray, dear God, that husbands will take seriously and dads will take seriously what it is to be the head of their household because they are teaching their children and showing their children, dear Lord, the first glimpse they will see of Jesus Christ. Holy Father, forgive them when they fail. Forgive us when we fail. Forgive, dear God, the mothers, dear Lord, that will not understand what it means to be a godly woman who will misuse the word and the title Christian. Dear Lord, help us to raise up children, dear God, who are developed into being Christians, who are developed into being the church, dear God, instead of having a disdain for it. I pray, dear God, that you will help men before we say willfully submit and obey to our spouse and to those around us, that we will willfully submit and obey to you as our Heavenly Father. That we will love those around us, dear God, as you love the church to the point of making sacrifices instead of being selfish. I pray, dear Lord, that in our homes and in our marriages, dear Lord, that we will be able to respect and honor one another instead of demanding it, dear Lord, that we will earn it by the blood of Jesus Christ and how we conduct ourselves. I pray, Holy Father, that we will be willing to be the people that You have called us out to be. And You use, dear Lord, the language of the home, the language of marriage, the language of family in our earthly relationships. May we never take it for granted, dear God. May we model it after what You have ordained and may we see it as something not to complete our selfish desires, but as something for our sanctification. May we be willing, dear Lord, to look after the widows and the orphans. May we be willing, dear God, to look after those around us. May we be willing, dear God, not just to care for those that we see, but also for those who have been aborted, for those who have been abused, for those who have been abandoned. We pray, dear God, that we will place you not only as the head of the church, that we will recognize you not only as the head of this nation, but we will recognize you, dear God, as the head of the home, the head of our families, the head of our marriages, the head of all of our relationships. Holy Father, it is our desire here on this day that our homes would once again be healthy, that they would be happy, and that Almighty God, that they would be holy. But this is not possible without your help. So I ask, dear God, that you hear our prayers. In the name of Jesus Christ, hear your children. Amen.